Atlanta Falcons. And not saying this because they're a four and four team or a team that's lost some bad games along the way, uh, been blown out in some games. Quarterback's been bad at times. They're they're on a little bit of a heater right now playing football. And they're not going to scare you with their skill guys. The only skill guy that's really, really, really going to scare you is Kyle Pitts. Now, I say this in a you way. You better not disrespect my fantasy running back. He's I'm carrying not, me to I'm a not, championship right now. I'm just right on now. the outside, on okay. the outside. Okay. Because, uh, because I, I think, like, to me, that, that this is a team that's always, we've always talked about the Julio Joneses and stuff like that. They, they just don't have that anymore. You know, and that and the, and really, they're in a, they're in kind of a little bit of a bind with that, because they've also you know having to deal also with, uh, you know, with Calvin Ridley being out with you know and dealing with the the the, the things that he's having to and and nothing but the best to him. Hopefully, he gets those things squared away. But I will say this though, I'll say this: <laughs> this football team, it, they're going to come after you when it comes to this offense, and and really, it does start with Matt Ryan. And what he is able to do throwing the football, he's going to stand in the pocket. He's not going to be afraid to take a hit. If he has to take a hit, he'll get rid of the football. He is not going to let you sack him. And the last couple of games I watched, I watched the New Orleans game and I watched the Carolina game. His movement in the pocket has actually been pretty impressive for a guy that's been in the league as long as he has. So if you're the Cowboys, get him on the ground. If you get the chance, because he will find a way to extend plays. He will find a way to squirt forward and get first downs. You know, the last thing you need him to do is to juke somebody and make somebody miss. The Ooh. Cowboys have had a problem with tackling uh, last week. Don't let Matt Ryan you know, beat you like running around. I'm not saying he's we don't going... need any Jeff Heath versus Jared Goff moments yeah, out there. Oh, yeah. Okay, it was a long time ago. I'm but sorry. I'm, sticks with I'm you. just telling you though, that Matt. Matt Ryan is capable of of making you miss and getting first downs, and it was it was really it's impressive how he does it. But I, I just think that the, to me, and Jeff's right, Patterson makes a difference running the football. You know, well, the mean, greatest kick or, returner of all time is now a running back. Yeah, they finally figured out. Oh, you're not a receiver. So you know, at like age thirty, <laughs> he's become a weapon because they're like, no, line up here. Yeah, when we throw it to you, we're going to throw it eight feet, and then you just run. That's yeah. what we're going to do. He's like a supercharged Ty Montgomery. Well, yeah. You know, and it's funny because if you talk to people in Atlanta about him, they give this Dave Ragone, who's a coach on their team, a lot of credit because he was with him in Chicago. And he kind of kind of got him going as a running back last year. Huh. And that's kind of what they, you know, and even the scouts in Atlanta say, hey, you know, we didn't we didn't expect this, but because they've always we've always pigeonholed him as a wide receiver, special teamer, mostly because of his ability to know the offense and stuff like that. But they'll tell you, man, this guy is a football player. He's matured. Uh, that's really, really uh, something that they've kind of pointed to. He still makes mistakes. But when the ball is in his hands, things really do happen. You know, And that's when you watch the tape. I was talking back and forth with the Falcon scouts about it. And I'm like, man, this guy is, how did you do this? And it's kind of like the same thing of like, how did Dan Quinn come up to say, oh, wait, Micah Parsons needs to play defensive end? You know, sometimes you just, some coaches have a vision for a player, and this Dave Ragone, who's on the staff with them in Atlanta, has the vision for the player. And he's, I'll tell you another thing about him. Whoever the kicker is for the Cowboys this week, yeah. you better make sure that ball goes out of the end zone. Because this guy will take it four deep and come at you from, mm. from there. So, He's always going to play for field position, stuff like that. Like I say, you need to worry about him. You need to worry about Matt Ryan. You need to worry about Kyle Pitts. They're starting now because Kyle Pitts, they were playing him on the outside quite a bit. So what they've done now is moved him more in line or closer to the formation so that cornerbacks don't get to play against him. Oh, okay. they're, they're like, when they, when they were playing him wide, he was getting corners. covered. Corners were getting to cover him, which probably is a little bit better because they can match up with him. Still tough. Yeah. Still that type of a good player. for. But well, You put a strong safety or a linebacker on him. You put a strong him, safety yeah. or linebacker. So what they've done is they've kind of tightened him up to the formation. Uh -huh. So I will be interested to see how the Cowboys treat him in this football game. Now, is this a thing where maybe Diggs, does Diggs walk with Kyle Pitts in this game? And just try and take him away I that mean, way? I Diggs can walk with whoever he wants to get torched by. It doesn't matter. Curse. 
Who are you going with? Nation Wright? Man, yeah. I just wanted to take a shot at Diggs after this last week. That's all. Do you think Diggs could do you think Diggs could handle Pitts though, Jeff? No. 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 Nobody really can. No. You make a mistake. Diggs is the guy you want covering Pitts. Yeah. Um I guess he's got the best shot because he's a better athlete than J. Ron Curse. Right. Curse got um, exposed a little bit the other day in his coverage. Yeah, I mean, I, I do guess that uh, Diggs is probably your your best shot against a giant athlete like that. Uh, but no, I don't think there's anybody on the Cowboys that can cover that dude one on one. Well, if that's the case, then as Jeff just said, be ready. I mean, because that Matt Ryan's going to find him or Russell Gage or or Zacharias or something like that. I mean, just get ready. Th- those guys, I mean, they're, they're, they're a lot of no-name guys, but they they do find ways to make plays. They also like to b- bring in uh, Felipe Franks uh, as a uh, – as on third, Former Florida Gator man. And Arkansas Razorback guy as a quarterback to run the read option on short yardage. So if you see number 15 in the lineup, know that that's probably going to happen. On defense for uh, this football team – AJ Terrell Jeff is playing a lot better for them. He was the uh, he was in the same draft as the CD Lamb. Matter of fact, he went ahead of CD Lamb in that draft. They also have Fabian Moreau. People have attacked Fabian Moreau more. He was from the Washington uh, football team, so people have gone after twenty two more than they have twenty four. That seems like your best path for maybe making some things happen. Uh, linebacker uh, Deion Jones is the guy that I think you really, really have to worry about. They like to put linebackers to get pressure. They like to put linebackers in both A gaps, and then they either run the A gaps to try and force you to to handle that, or they'll like run one through and drop. So when you see these two linebackers lined up in the double A gaps, the Cowboys have got to kind of be ready. I think with Connor Williams and then with Biotish at center, I think you're going to see some A-gap pressure in this game to try and get to Dak Prescott. Uh, Grady Jarrett, I think, is their best defensive lineman uh, in uh, as far as when it comes to pass rushing. Uh, but like I said, they practiced today. Actually, he was back off the IR, uh, Dante Fowler. I don't know what his availability is going to be this week, though. If he's in the game, then I guarantee you that he they're going to put him over the top of of over top of steel and let him rush, but but their best their best defender their best defensive lineman I feel like is is Grady uh, Jarrett number ninety seven there, big time player when it comes to getting after the passer and uh, and and his ability to like play the run uh, down the line of scrimmage outside the tackle box. Uh, I'll tell you what uh, the Saints had some success running the ball on him because they were able to get like those hats on hats. Because what happened in that game, too, their linemen, they were trying to slant the front. And when I mean slant the front, like they were trying to guess which way they were slanting to the strength. And mm-hmm. what happens is the Saints caught them in the slant a couple of times, got on those blocks, and then just kind of walled them off. And then the ball came behind that. So mm-hmm. I'll be interested to see if they, in fact, try and say, okay, we're going to, we think that you're going to run the ball strong and then, and then, and then slant the front that way. If you get a lot of movement with a defensive line, sometimes if you have guys that aren't athletic enough, maybe on the backside, like with what's going on with steel and stuff like that, that might be a little bit of a problem right there. So I, I, I think this is going to be a, a tough game. Do the Cowboys better than them skill-wise? Yes. I thought the Cowboys were better than the Broncos last week. But I think with Matt Ryan at quarterback and then like Pitts and Patterson and guys like Jared and stuff, Jones, the linebacker, uh, and Terrell, uh, this is going to be probably a little bit closer game than that nine and a half point spread is indicating Ooh. right now. Ooh, look at that, Brian, going against the spread for you here at the tail end of a little bit of a film study. If if they hadn't lost to Denver in the way they did, and you looked at this game, would you feel the same way? I feel like though I would. I always look at every game and the opponents and how they match up. You know, and and Jeff was right about Patterson and handing him the football. If you're not ready for the ball to be run at you off the edge. This guy will run through tackles. They throw him the ball underneath. They spread him out wide. Yeah, I, I think there's, there's some potential problems for you to match up yeah. against these guys offensively. I just think Matt Ryan is a lot better, even at age. It has given age. 
Still, still got play, it a little still bit. Still got it a little bit, yeah. Well, good for him. I know since they fell apart in the Super Bowl, people have predicted them falling completely into the cellar multiple times, and then they have these bounce-back type of swings, and I think we're in the middle of another one right here. 